yogis, and welcome once again to Chair Yoga. All right, so we always start the class with the three no's. There's no competition in yoga, so you're not in competition with me, and you're not in competition with yourself. You're trying to work to a point where effort and ease meet. When you get there, you'll feel a stretch, but the no pain, the second no, no competition, no pain. If you feel pain at any point, you stop doing what you're trying to do. And then lastly, no judgment, just do the best you can and then it's all good. All right, so Egyptian pose, neck in line with the spine, shoulders and hips in a straight line, hips and knees in a straight line, knees and ankles in a straight line. You can have your palms down or palms up. Now we wanna breathe through the nose. We wanna to try to match our inhalation to our exhalation. So you inhale, count your inhalation, then there's a pause, don't count the pause, then you exhale, again, there's a pause after the exhalation. So we don't count the pauses, we just count while we're inhaling, while we're exhaling. Now you wanna to try to match your inhalation to your exhalation. So you count your exhalation, you know what the count is, and when you inhale, you try to inhale to the same amount. All right? All right, so we'll try that now. So you inhale, and then you exhale, same count. Like inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Now, when we do breath work, which is what that was, if, if you get anxious or tense, then you don't have to do the breath work, just breathe normally. But try to inhale and exhale through your nose. All right, we're gonna start off with the sun salutation. So we're gonna inhale both arms up overhead, interlace our fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling, try to straighten your arms. Then we're gonna exhale, hinging at the hip, we forward fold. And then inhale, come back up. Now we're gonna take both hands under our right thigh, we're gonna lift the right leg and we're gonna wiggle our foot clockwise. All right, then you come down and you switch legs, wiggle the foot clockwise. If you pay attention, you'll notice it's easier to wiggle one foot clockwise than the other. All right, and then shoulders go back, chest comes out, so you get a mild back bend to your cobra pose. Then we're gonna inhale the arms up overhead again, interlace the fingers, palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinging at the hip with the spine lengthened, forward fold, and then inhale, come back up, let the palms come together, hands in front of the sternum, and we'll release down. All right, we'll do the next one. Inhale up, interlace the fingers, turn the palms towards the ceiling, Hinging at the hip, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up. Now, both hands under your left thigh, and now we're gonna wiggle the foot counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And again, if you'll notice, it's easier on one side than the other. All right, release down, counterclockwise with the right leg. All right, shoulders, back, right? Mild back bend, cobra pose. Then inhale the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, turn the palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinge at the hip, forward fold. All right, inhale, come back up, palms together, hands in front of the sternum, and we'll release down. Now we're gonna do some neck work. So we're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, you're gonna take your left ear towards your left shoulder, stretch the right side of your neck. Your shoulders stay down and relaxed. All right, inhale, back to center, Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. All right, back to center, inhale, exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And then back to center, inhale, exhale, right ear, right shoulder. All right, and back to center. Now we wanna make figure eights with our head. So we're gonna inhale, look out over your left shoulder. As you exhale, you're gonna take your chin along your collarbone to the center of your chest, and then come back up. So inhale, look out of your right shoulder. Exhale the chin along the collarbone to the center of the chest, and let the head come up. So if you look from above, it looks like a figure eight. All right, so inhale, and then we go 
Left shoulder, exhale the chin a little, the collarbone to the center of the chest, let the head come up. And then inhale, right shoulder, exhale the chin a little, the collarbone to the center of the chest, and let the head come up. We take both hands on our shoulders, and we're going to gently twist to the left, and then back to center, and twist to the right. And you look out over your shoulder, wherever your eyes can see, your body can twist. All right, so now we want to make circles forward with the elbows. All right, and then circles back. All right, now we're going to inhale, elbows all the way back, and then exhale, see how close you can get, maybe even touch, maybe not, just get as close as you can. So inhale back, exhale, touch. Inhale back. Exhale, touch. One more. Inhale. And exhale. All right, now we're going to take our thumb to the pad of the pinky fingers and we're going to inhale, exhale. All right, then we're going to give ourselves a hug. All right, we're going to switch arms, other side. All right, so now we're going to take the right arm in front of the body, palm up. We're going to stretch the fingers down towards the floor. All right, so you see, arm is parallel to the floor out in front. Then you turn your fingers towards the ceiling, gently pull back. All right, turn the fingers towards the floor. We'll pull on the back of the hand. All right, so left hand, palm up. Stretch the fingers towards the floor. Turn the fingers towards the ceiling, gently pull back. All right, fingers towards the floor, pull on the back of the hand. All right, release down, inhale the shoulders up, exhale back and down, inhale up, exhale back and down. Go the other way, inhale up, exhale forward and down, inhale up, exhale forward and down. Now we want to try eagle arms, so see if you take your palms together now, if you can, your forearms touch. And we're going to go straight up, not back towards the head, but straight up. And you only go up as far as you can with your forearms touching. Now, some people can cross their elbows and take their palms together. Huh? Looks like that. So if you can do it this way, you do it this way. Otherwise, you're here. You go up only as far as you can with your forearms touching. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. All right, if you have your arms crossed, you cross the other way, or oh, we're still here. So inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. All right, and then shake out. Now we're going to take our arms out in front, the thumbs face towards the floor. We take the left hand over the right, interlace our fingers, try to get our palms together, and then we exhale in towards the chest and over and back. And exhale in and over and back. One more. Exhale. All right, we come back. Now we're going to switch hands. So exhale in and over and back. Exhale. All right, one more. All right, and then we shake out. All right, we take the right hand on the side of the chair. We're going to stretch up to the left side of the body. And then as we exhale, we come over to the right side. Now you can stay like this, or you can try to take your hand behind your head and touch your shoulder. All right, back to center. We're going to go the other way. So stretch up through the right side. Exhale over to the left side. Stay like this, or if you can, you touch your shoulder, right? right hand, left shoulder. All right, come back. Now we're going to take the right hand on the left thigh, left hand on the left shoulder. Again, whenever you twist, you want to look out over your shoulder. So, so we're going to twist to the left. Right. Now, if you twist far enough, you have the option. Take your left hand behind your back and hold your right thigh. Your thigh is between your hip and your knee. <laughs> okay. All right, now we'll come back to center. We're going to go the other way. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. 
Again, you have the option if you twist far enough, right hand, left thigh. All right, then we're gonna come back to center. Now, we're gonna take our yogic strap. By now, hopefully we all have yogic straps or old ties or a towel. So, whatever you have, you can use. Now, we're gonna put the strap around the balls of the toes of the left foot. The strap is in your left hand. Now, we inhale, we see if we can lift the foot, lift the leg, lift the leg, and then if you can, you walk your hand up the strap. All right, now. The left leg goes out to the left side. Now, if you can hold your foot, you don't need the strap, but you want to make sure your leg stays straight. So if you bend your knee to hold your foot, that's not the pose. The leg stays straight. All right, we come back to center, then we're going to walk both hands up the strap, see how close you can get to your foot. We're going to take the strap into the left hand. We're going to take the left leg out to the right side. This is your right hand. Good, nice stretch here. All right, come back to center. Switch legs. All right, we come up. You walk your hand up the strap, find your own edge, and then you take your leg out to the side. Now notice when we do this, the body stays straight, so it's not this, it's this. Opening the hip. Right, back to center, walk both hands up the strap. All right, and take the strap in the left hand, take the right leg out to the left side. All right, then we come back to center. Now we want to take the soles of the feet, the bottom of the feet to touch. Your knees go out to the side. The strap goes around both feet. It's called butterfly cobbler angle pose. Lots of different names for these poses. All right, then you're going to see if you can get your feet off the floor, and then you find your own edge. Without falling out of the chair, find your edge. Hmm. All right, and we're going to release down. Now we're going to take the strap, we're going to work some shoulder work here. Take the strap over your left shoulder, strap in your left hand. So when I inhale the left arm up, and back, so you need some room between your back and the chair, because then the right hand goes behind the back to hold the strap. We inhale, both hands, both shoulders move, we exhale down, we inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Now you walk your hand up the strap, you see how close you can get? All right, now you can stay like this, or inhale, when you exhale, you hinge at the hip, you forward fold. All right, come back up, take the strap on your right shoulder strap in your right hand. You're gonna inhale the right arm up and back. Left hand, again, lower back holds the strap. So you inhale, both hands, both shoulders move, you exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now you walk your hand up the strap. Again, you can stay here or Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge at the hip. Forward fold. All right, then we're going to inhale, come back up, and now we can release the strap. All right, we're going to take our left ankle up towards the right thigh. Now we want to inhale, come up on the balls of the toes of the right foot, and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Do one more, inhale up, exhale down. All right, so both hands on the shin. Again, we can stay like this, or inhale when you exhale, hinging at the hip with the spine length of your forward fold. Then we inhale, we'll come back up, you hold your foot, you hold your thigh, and then see if you can gently rock side to side. So seated leg cradle, sometimes called rock the baby. Now, some people can take their palms together in front of their shin, but notice my spine stays lengthened. I'm not rounding over to make this happen. 
and some people can wrap their elbow around their foot, elbow around their knee, but again, spine stays lengthened. So if you have to round over to do this, don't do it. Do the other version. All right, there you go. All right, so we're gonna release down. We're gonna switch. So right ankle, left thigh. Inhale up on the balls of the toes, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. We'll do one more. Inhale up, exhale down. All right, both hands go to the shin. Again, you stay here or exhale. Forward fold. All right, we come back up. You hold your foot, you hold your thigh. You gently rock side to side. Again, any version is fine. But you want to make sure you keep your spine lengthened. All right, and then we're gonna come down. So now we're gonna do our warrior poses. So first we're gonna to go to the right side for warrior. So, one, two, three, huh? your right leg comes out, your left leg goes back, try to straighten your left leg if you can. Now you wanna to try to turn your shoulders and your hips to the right, and then arms overhead, shoulder width apart, palms facing. Palms facing, shoulder width apart. Or you can interlace your fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling, try to straighten your arms, you lengthen your spine. This is good for your back. All right, so this is warrior one pose. Now we're going to release the fingers, we're going to turn to the side so your arms come over your legs, shoulders over hips. Mm -hmm. This is warrior two pose. So you can look here, you can gaze out over the middle finger of your right hand. All right, inhale, make two stop signs with your hands, exhale down. Inhale, two stop signs, exhale down. Inhale, two stop signs, exhale down. All right, now your palms face the floor, you're gonna turn your right palm towards the ceiling, lean out about three inches to the right, exhale, right arm up, left arm back. You can look here, you can gaze here, some people like to gaze up at their thumb or their hand. If you do that, you want to make sure the skin on your neck is smooth so you're not compressing the vertebrae in your neck. You look up like that, that's compressed vertebrae. Right, so long neck, you look up, reverse warrior pose. And then back to warrior two. And then you stretch out through the fingers, open the chest. All right, swivel, warrior one. Now we want to inhale, bend back, crescent moon. And then back up to warrior one. We're going to inhale. When we exhale, we're going to fold out over the right leg. Try to keep your arms parallel to the floor, your palms face each other. So warrior three, T-pose, directional pose. Inhale, exhale over. And then inhale, come back up, and now we'll come back to seated. All right, so we'll separate our knees further than our hips, and then we're gonna exhale and forward fold. Whatever your forward fold looks like is fine. All right, we'll come back up. So now warrior poses on the left side. One, two, three, boom. Now your right leg goes back, you try to square your shoulders and your hips to the left, arms overhead, you can interlace your fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling, warrior one pose. Stretch up, lengthen the spine, good for your back. All right, now you release the fingers, you turn to the sides, your arms are over your legs. Again, if it's comfortable, you can gaze out of the middle finger of your left hand, or you can keep it here. Now we inhale, you make two stop signs, you exhale down. Inhale, two stop signs, exhale down. Inhale, two stop signs, exhale down. All right, now we wanna turn the left palm towards the ceiling, lean out about three inches. Exhale, left arm up, right arm back, reverse warrior. And again, you know, you have options where you gaze, here, here, long neck, up. 
All right, and we're going to come back to Warrior Two. <clears throat> Stretch out through the fingers, open the chest, and then swivel, arms overhead, Warrior One. All right, from here, we're going to inhale and bend back, crescent moon, and then back up to Warrior One. Inhale, exhale, Warrior Three, the T pose, directional pose. Right, inhale, come back up, and we'll come back to seated. All right. So in the beginning, we tried to match the inhalation to the exhalation. Now what we want to try to do is to increase the exhalation so that we're exhaling longer than we're inhaling. So again, you have a count, right? You count your inhalation. When you exhale, you try to deepen your exhalation so your exhalation is longer. Now, before the pandemic, we used to do a pose called lion's pose. The purpose of lion's pose is to increase your exhalation. So lion's pose, we would take a deep inhalation, and then when we were ready, cactus arms, ah. So you get the idea, right? Right. Ah, now when you do this stuff, again, if it makes you lightheaded or dizzy or anxious, you don't have to do it. It's called pranayama. So instead of doing lion's pose like this, we'll set an intention. If there's anything that's bothering you, try to let it go when we do the exercise. So you're going to inhale, and then you exhale. Let go of whatever is bothering you with the exhalation. And again, try to make your exhalation longer than your inhalation. When you do that, it kicks off your relaxation response. Your heart rate, respiration, blood pressure go down. So just by the way you breathe, you can have that effect on your body. So inhale and exhale. All right, do one more inhale. And make the exhalation longer than the inhalation. All right. Now, next is laughter yoga. So we've scientifically studied and proven that when you laugh, you release endorphins into your system. When you do that, it improves your immune system. So especially now, we want a strong immune system. So every chance you get to laugh or smile, you should use it because you will release endorphins. Now, suppose you can't laugh for no reason and you don't want to smile. So if it's a make-believe smile, huh? you release endorphins. If it's a make-believe laugh, ha, 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 ha you still release endorphins, all right? So even if there's nothing funny and you can do a make-believe laugh, sometimes you start with a make-believe laugh, it turns into a real laugh, all right? And you can go online if you have uh, computer access, you can watch gurus, leading groups in group laughter. Sometimes we go out in the park, form a circle, and just spontaneously laugh. So. <laughs> <laughs> so if someone asks you why are you laughing for no reason, you know what the answer is. You tell them, I'm improving my immune system. All right? So if someone catches you laughing for no reason, just you have a reason. It's to improve your immune system. All right, so now we're going to do gate and extended angle, two poses, one sequence. All right, so let's take the left leg out to the left side of the chair. The right leg stays in front, in the middle. You're going to take your left hand, palm up, resting on your leg. Palm facing the ceiling, so I don't want you to push down on your leg. 
So palm up, then you're gonna inhale, stretch up to the right side of the body. And now as we exhale, we're gonna to start to slide the hand down the leg. Notice the shoulder and the chest stay back. So when you go over, there's a tendency to lean down towards the floor. You don't wanna do that. So we're here. So this is gate pose. All right, come back up. And then we're gonna take the right leg out to the right side, the left leg stays where it is, right form, right thigh, palm up. All right, left arm, about two inches from the left ear, palm facing the floor. Now you can stay like this, or you can try to take your hand behind your head, touch your shoulder. You come back up, you stay here, or see if you can take your hand behind your back, hold your thigh, and now you gaze up at the ceiling and smile. You release endorphins, or you can laugh. Ha <laughs> ha, you might not be able to laugh in this pose. All right, now, left arm back by the left ear. So you'll notice there's a straight line from the wrist to the ankle. Stay here, or if you can, you release down. All right, and then forearm on the thigh, and we'll come back up to seated. Separate the knees further than the hips. Exhale, forward fold. All right, inhale, come back up. So you notice we always do both sides. Hata, sun and moon. The right side is the sun side, the left side is the moon side. So it's about balance. All right, now we're gonna take the right leg out to the right side, right palm facing up. Stretch up through the left side of the body. Exhale, keep the shoulder back, the chest back, and you come over. Gate pose. All right, now you come back up. So we're gonna take the left leg out to the left side, left form, left thigh, palm up, right arm two inches from the right ear, palm facing the floor. So extended angle, straight line, ankle to wrist, wrist to ankle. All right, then if you can, you're gonna go behind your head, touch your shoulder if you can. Just find your own edge. All right, now you come back up, and if you can, you go behind your back, you hold your thigh, you gaze up at the ceiling, and smile. Release endorphins. All right, come back up. Now, if you can, right on by the right ear, left hand goes to the floor. All right, forearm to thigh. And then we're gonna come back up to seated. All right. So we want to do a self-massage. And you don't have to wait for the video. You can do this on your own every day. It feels good, you do it. All right, give yourself another hug. And you can do this anytime you want, right? All right, and then we go here. All right, so now we're gonna do our eye exercise. So you're gonna look straight ahead. You're gonna take your eyes over, three o'clock back to nine. Three, nine, three, nine, three, nine, three, nine, Back to center, 12, 6, 12, 6, 12, 6, 12, 6, 12, 6, 12, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, Three six nine, twelve 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 three
12, 3, 6, 9. You come back to center and you blink a few times. So we used to rub our palms together and then lay our palms over our eyes. When you do that, it blocks out all of the light. It has a resting effect on your eyes. But you may not want to touch your face, so you don't have to do that either. All right? But when you close your eyes, there's still light that seeps through. When you block out the light, now you don't have to use your palm. You got a slice of the cucumber, you put that over your eye. All right? All right, and now it's time for Shavasana. Yay! No. All right, for some people, this is the hardest pose in yoga because after I talk you through the entire body scan and I tell you to try to focus your attention on your breath and let your mind clear, that's when we learn that we have a lot, a lot of thoughts and the mind does not want to quiet. And trust me, it's not just you. Everybody has, it's called monkey mind. All right, so Egyptian pose, close your eyes, we begin with the left foot, let the left foot, leg, thigh, hip, relax. Right foot, leg, thigh, hip, relax. All right, stomach, lower back, relax. Chest, upper back, relax. Left hand, arm, shoulder, relax. Right hand, arm, shoulder, relax. Neck, throat, mouth, jaw, relax. Eyes, face, ears, scalp, relax. So try to focus your attention on your breath. If you have thoughts, try to let go of the thoughts, return your attention to your breath and use this time to relax. Bring our attention back into the room. We'll open our eyes, wiggle our hands, wiggle our feet. All right, we take our arms out the side, palms up, try to match the breath with the movement as we inhale our arms up overhead, and then exhaling down, matching the breath and the movement, movement and breath. Inhale up. The palms come together, hands in front of the sternum, and we end the class by saying namaste, which has many different meanings, I like, I honor you, you honor me. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Stay safe and healthy. Namaste.